I found a very cheap solution to get 2.5 gigabit network support in my home lab. This video is sponsored by my long term sponsor PCBWay. If you want your circuit board design realized and printed, you should check out PCBWay. Starting prices as low as $5 for a 1 or 2 layer design. Place your order now, links in the description. Hi, my name is Victor Bart, welcome to Retro Machines and let's take a look at this Cycle switch and I paid 130 euros for it on Amazon and normally it's like 170 euros or something but I will put Amazon affiliated links down in the description if you want to support my channel and also get this switch this Cycle switch is an XGS101012 it's a 12 port gigabit unmanaged switch with 8 copper 1 kick ports 2 copper 2.5 kick ports and 2 1 slash 10 kick SFP plus ports that sounds interesting so let's unbox it here we have a switch some manuals and warranty papers and I dropped the power supply <laughs> uh, this is the most professional unboxing you ever seen so here we have the switch some random screws for wall mounting a rubber feet to put under it this power connector I need this is for the UK and this is for the US <laughs> kids don't eat plastic it's not good for your health so this is the power supply so let's put the pins in so here we have the switch itself, it has 8 gigabit ports and two of them are labeled medium priority and two of them are labeled high priority. I never seen that on a switch. I think it's just some consumer shizzle because this is pretty much a consumer switch. It's not really made for home labs but it was so cheap that I was thinking yeah just let's get it and try it out. And here are the ports that I want to have. Those are the 2.5 gigabit network ports. And I also want to have a, an, a high speed connection to the rest of my network. So this is SFP plus for uh, 10 gig modules but also 1 gig modules are supported. Here we have my 10 gig GBX from FS.com with a fiber connection. So let's plug that in. And it uh, clicks uh, nicely in, so it's a standard SFP plus port. This FS GBIC is uh, compatible with my HP switch, so let's see if it also works on this switch. The power cable is pretty short, I think like 1 meter 20, so 4 feet for the Americans. So let's power it on. So let's see what will happen. Oh, it's now in check mode. Let's connect this fiber cable that's directly connected to my HP switch. Oh, and there's a an, uh, status LED here and it detected that it has some signal. And the only 2.5 gigabit device that I uh, have right now is this Asus store nuts with four 6 terabyte Seagate hard drives. And here on the back we have two 2.5 gigabit ports. This NAS also supports here an expansion slot with a 10 gig network card. But it also has like a uh, PCB here where you can install four M2 SSDs. So the point is with this NAS is it has four hard drives running at 5400 RPM. So that's not fast. So then 2.5 gigabit uh, network speed is fine. For the SSDs you could use 10 gig networking. But if you install a 10 gig network card here you lose the SSD option. And if you lose the SSD option you don't need 10 gig networking in this uh, NAS. So I decided that 2.5 gig networking for this NAS is more than enough. And that's why I bought this switch. Just to connect this on 2.5 gigabit. Here a sneak peek of the next video, an Asus Blitz Extreme motherboard with a Core 2 Quad and with a brand new Cooler Master 212 cooler. I don't think you can read the screen but let's ping the NAS. 
okay it uh, instantly replies so the network connection is uh, working let's test the NAS by copying a 39 gigabyte file from my server to the NAS 280 megabytes per second so that is a 2.5 gigabit fully saturated and the graph here is completely stable so no dips or or spikes or something like that I paid 130 euros for this switch because it was on sale on Amazon and normally it's like 170 180 euros I think that price is pretty good for this product it's super simple no management probably no special features just plug in your cables power it up and you have network connection so this is really a consumer unit and not really for high-end stuff but in my case to connect the Asus Tornas to the rest of the network it just does what it needs to do so it converts 2.5 gigabit to the 10 gig uh, network connection to the rest of my network what I only want to see in a switch like this probably it's already on the market or I don't know it's just two 10 gig ports and eight 2.5 gig ports that would be really a nice sweet spot uh, for a uh, switch like this. I probably gonna install it somewhere in the server rack and probably the second 2.5 gigabit uh, network port I will uh, put a cable to my laptop or something. So I now have the option for the 2.5 gigabit network connection in my uh, LAN. And if you like to buy this switch, you can use my Amazon affiliate links down in the description. It doesn't cost you uh, extra, but it helps my channel a lot. And if you like to support my channel, you can uh, become a Patreon and get access to my awesome Discord server. And thanks for watching.